Welcome to the Empire Brothers Rampant and welcome back to my Crown of Poland campaign for the Zombie Sword of War mod set during the fall of Constantinople. We're continuing with the stuff from last time. Right now, we're preparing our invasion for the forces of Crimea soon here, where we are we're just waiting on my reinforcements to be able to get over to us. Uh, I do have this general that I had an up adoption uh, possibility here. Um, do I want you? I'm going to say no. I still want to try and have more biological kids of my own, so we'll hold off on that. Still trying to grab you guys. Still having basically just trying to keep lighting up these areas as it is how many more turns until my army gets over here. So, well, I did, I did want to try and get rid of this force here before I do that. So, we'll have to hit you guys and then besides that, eh, it's like five to six turns. Then we can get over here. Still trying to wait and see if maybe I can actually get a crusade again for this. It's just there's so many people that have been excommunicated that I can't actually select the target I want to again. So I have to wait until some of those guys die and possibly get back into position to uh, be able to actually select the target I want. In the meantime, though, I don't think I have a lot of money. Also, can I actually move more of you guys out of Yasi? My lord. Eh, it's pissed off. Although the taxes, they're okay. You guys can have up to three upkeep units anyways around here. So let's grab some more. Because I'm going to keep trying to, at the moment, keep moving more of my forces up. Uh, I want to make sure that we're trying to make it the most out of every unit I have. Can we put one of this guy up to? Yeah, they're right, not upset. Okay, so let's send you guys over here. Oh, don't go through the Ottomans' lands. Do not piss them off. Go over to this fort over here instead. Send you guys. Group up over there. Keep sending our, your forces over to the east because we're going to need every able bodied man, woman, and child, well, not the children, men, and women, um, to make their way over and push on into the forces of Crimea. The Tartar raid. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, Swords and Skill in Iasi. Iasi is a town, so. No, we're not going to want a Swords and Skill there. Hussite mercenaries. I can get them for 6k. Yeah, let's grab them. I'm okay with some Hussite mercenaries. Um, game. <laughs> Where are my Hussite mercenaries? I, I don't see them. Um, Cap likes me. Ottoman Empire likes me. We shall not relent, ever! Um... Did I just get scammed? An honor, an honor to serve. An honor. My lord. I think I just got scammed. Orders, my <laughs> shall not my oh wait, no. Oh, these are all oh, they gave me wagon forts. Okay, so I wasn't scammed. They just are Orders, spawned way king. the hell over here. I am very okay with that. Two more wagon forts. These guys are expensive and crap, but like. The wagon forts, oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah, I'll take the wagon forts. Uh, so keep making them make their way over to the east. I was hoping they'd be a little bit closer to me. But uh, keep making your way over there. Let's first start off with you guys right here. As I do want to try and kill this army off. So you guys have... Eh, not the worst army there. But yeah, let's first kill these guys off first. Then we'll keep making our way over to the east. Uh, I'm still trying to build up more watchtowers over there before we properly give have that assault on Crimea. I'm going to feel bad when I kill them because they both asked me to ally with them. And if I wasn't specifically, if I didn't have my victory conditions to kill them off, I possibly would. Although that would mean I'd have to then fight the Ottomans sooner than expected, which we definitely do not want. So... Let's see if the enemy army is going to advance onto me here, because um, at the moment right now, let's see, so, yeah, this isn't a bad setup. So, we can get you guys set up here. Stakes, and then these are, yeah, I've got two handgunners, no, three, I've got three handgunners. So, you two can at least put down stakes. So, you can go there, you can go there, put down more stakes, stakes, and then I'll grab everybody else. So, there's uh, these two. Pull back here. Then I only have two units of infantry. I have, like, no infantry here. It's mainly just a bunch of horse archers and cav. It's like, you guys kind of be back here. I'll be probably harassing with you. And then my melee cav. I'll have, uh, you guys... Actually, no, you'd be on the right side. You'd be on the right side. The weaker guys on the left side. And then what we'll do is my infantry... Who did I miss? Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot I have you guys in this army, too. So all of you, this guy, yeah, you guys on the right side. There we go. Okay. 
Then what we'll do is start deployment. And then what we want to try is I want to move so it's you two. So like right there. You go right there. And then you pull back behind this unit, I'd say. And then just all of you guys turn scratch one off. Fire will on. And then at the moment, they do seem to be making their way over to us. Uh, infantry kind of adjust again, kind of make your way over to the sides here. And then let's wait and see. So at the moment, uh, the general bodyguard, that would be this guy right here. Good unit, but I got guns. <laughs> so uh, I, I don't care what they've got for the most part. Tartar foot archers, Kipchak archers, Bulgarian brigands. And then let's see what else they've got. Some more our basic archers, crossbows. They have a lot of skirmishers in this army. They really do. Uh, my crossbows are being able to start unloading on them. You have a nice range, honestly. Yeah, so start unloading into the enemy army. They've got some skirmisher cav over there. Let's get my horse archers a bit closer, I'd say. Start trying to harass the enemy army. Yeah, their, their skirmishers here are already wavering, so that's off to a good start, yeah. Horse archers just kind of get a little bit closer. Start providing some support. Also, I probably should have you guys have skirmish mode on. Then my melee cab here. Let's get you guys to kind of move on up as well. Because I'm going to try and have you guys take out some of the melee cab, possibly. Or at least try and focus on to, like, yeah, just take out this lancer. You should be able to charge into that lancer without too many issues. Or just start charging straight into the blob of skirmishers they've got over here. Slow down a little bit there. Yeah, they're trying to go after my horse archers with their general. That's fine. Just, just run away from him. You should be able to... Yeah, just skirmish away from him. But yeah, all of you guys try and focus your attention over there. 25% already dead. Melikav, we're winning against these Lancers. Slowly but surely. They're dying. They're wavering. I need them to break here. Because we don't need to... Oh, those are some spearmen. Run away from those spearmen. We don't want to fight those. We just want to try and break you guys as soon as possible. Keep, keep running away. Keep running away from those spears. Do not fight the spearmen. Archers have broken. Focus on the Lancers once again. Yeah, this guy's broken. I do love this formation. It works out so well. Their Jones bodyguard. See, he's at 22. Uh, I should maybe have you help out, I guess. Yeah, you can go help out over there. Uh, let's see. Spearmen are still trying to chase us. Go after these skirmishers once again. See, that guy's broken. Ignore him. We just want to shatter this entire army. We don't need to kill them all. This is a rebel force, so once they all break, they'll be uh, sent fleeing anyways. Okay, it's down to just their captain. So everybody else has been broken now at this point in time. Uh, the melee cab I sent over here to try and fight him. They're crap units anyways, so that's fine. Uh, you guys at least now are... Yeah, some of you guys are running out of ammo. So keep trying to pull away from them. Best you can. And then I'll have it so that for right now... Just kind of pull back here. Keep trying to fire on him. Just trying to pull my melee cab over to you guys. Because as soon as you get here, this guy's dead. And then this army will be out of the picture. You guys can't have a weird group with my army, I guess, right now at this point in time. Um, then uh, this force will be destroyed. We didn't take too much damage. Yeah. 18% down to 15%. Not bad. So that's going to be pretty nice for us. Now this army will be out of the way. Not going to be doing any devastation to the region. I did lose those melee cab units, I believe, or if we recovered them. There's not too many of them. But now we can keep making my way over to the east. I'll probably have it so that these guys need to make their way over. Um, I need to get rid of that fort that has a bunch of rebels in it, too, um, over by my borders over there. So we'll probably have these guys go make their way over there first. I'm still going to be using my king at the moment to be building watchtowers. Because I'm just hoping that somebody's reconciled back into the church. Uh, man of the hour! This would technically day. have you marry my princess, would it not? I wouldn't interrupt this, but also it would kind of interrupt the whole fact that like, I specifically have so you guys over yes. here to try and marry some of the people over in this area. Because at the moment, Elizabeth, uh, she's Lord. making her way up here. She's, oh yeah, she got stuck and I had to walk all the way around. Just sit where you are, because my hope they'll just move so I can move in there next turn. Because I, at the Sorry. moment, I've been having some really bad luck trying to find these generals. Because it was Eberstein, but it wasn't you. It was a different Eberstein. And I don't see him. Moving quietly. Is he here? No. But that is just a generic general. 
William Hatto von... I wouldn't mind trying to marry you if you're available. Uh, where'd my princess go? She's right here. Your Majesty. I just have been very unlucky so far. No. Nope. Oh, uh, is that the one I want? The bearded? Yes. Is that the one I want? I don't think so. I would expect you to have a unique. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of these uh, Eberhard guys. You are pretty young. Is this maybe this supposed to be the guy? Maybe it is. So we can try and still send her up that way to. I. I I think I'll accept this. Oh, did I? I just hope it doesn't take her away. That's my concern. So... No. Yeah. Man of the hour. Awesome. So uh, that's the only thing I was concerned about is that maybe it was going to uh, use her up. Let's keep going up around here. Keep getting more watchtowers in the area. Slowly but surely. Alrighty. My reinforcements are finally almost here. There was one guy that kind of got in your way here. Probably going to push through you guys in a second. Um... Do I have a couple more mercenaries I could grab? I'm not trying to hold off on that, though. I need to keep my money the best I can. Bosnia and Hungary are no longer allied. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. We've got more men over here. Can't merge any of those guys together, sadly. Um, but first, let me have it so... More watchtowers. I actually need to get one where you're standing, actually. So let's grab one right here. And then keep making my way up to the border. There we go. And I've almost got this diary lit up now. Perfect. Uh, probably going to have to, so yeah, we'll go down a bit more this way, over to the left, uh, and then I'll eventually pick this last unit up that you left behind here. Um, I can get up to two free upkeep units. Let me grab one more of the peasants. Do that. And then I would say for right now, let's push on through this unit. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to fight this myself, just to make sure that we minimize casualties. Because this should be a slaughter. Uh, we'll push on through these guys, and then next turn, this uh, army will hopefully be in range to start sieging that one castle. Because I want to try and siege that one castle that has all the rebels in it right now to get rid of them, reduce the, the uh, devastation in that region. Then, uh, I mean, I'm just checking every once in a while to see if we can do the crusade. If we can't do the crusade by the time that this army gets here, I'm just going to do it myself. Like, it's, it's fine. It would just be nice to have a crusade. So that way we can make sure that we uh, get some free upkeep for my armies. And uh, I'll just be able to maybe get more men, or just more speed. it just do so much more for us if we actually had the uh, Crusade ongoing. But we don't necessarily need it to win against them, just seeing as how I know I'm stronger than them. So that's too much of an, not too much of an issue. Um, let's just have a so yeah, to start the battle. This army probably really shouldn't be that big of an issue. Um... Let's have you move there, you right there. You're fine as you are. Well, actually, you need to adjust with these guys. So, you guys rush up. Uh, these units, actually, I kind of probably should move them first, but I think those are just skirmishers that are making their way forward. Yeah, they are, so that's fine. Everybody into position. Um, kind of form on up, guys. Make sure that you turn on, just turn off skirmish mode, guard mode on. And then my cav, I forgot to adjust you, did I not? I think you're fine. So yeah, you guys just need to start returning fire. And then infantry moves forward. My melee cav, at least. Let's say if you start trying to hit some of their light lancers, those guys will be pretty easy for us to break. So they've already lost, what, 17% of their forces? 7% of my guys have already died, though. They do have a decent amount of horse archers themselves, though, so I'm not too surprised by that. Let's get you guys a little bit closer here. Halberds, just hold your position. The battle is very You'll be much able to... Yeah, they, they already broke. Beautiful. Steadfast. Let's see, these guys are holding... A lot of their skirmishers are doing some good damage, though, yeah. My horse archers kind of get back here to be able to try and focus on their skirmisher cav. Because I'm probably not going to be able to catch you with my cav. Let's see. They've got the con guard still here who's doing some pretty good damage. Let's try and see if we can get in melee with you guys or if you're going to run away. They actually started fighting me. Perfect. So now we can win this fight. Try and break you guys. percent Just need you to shatter. Come on. Break. Just the con guard, I think it is. Yeah, just focus him down. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. This is there we go. So, not every few casualties on our army, not the best. That was primarily on... Yeah, actually, a lot of mainly on my horse archers. A little bit on my halberds, too. Some of my hook gunners actually did take a decent amount of damage. Yeah, 46, to uh, 46 guys on my hook gunners. Not 
the best, but... This army is now destroyed. I can now keep pushing forward to the east and start trying to siege that one castle. Hopefully. I think I, I need one more turn until I can properly hit it. And so we'll just try and get as close as we can to it. Start sieging that area out. And once I siege it out, I will then be ready for my war with Crimea, I will say. Because then we can also try and send a couple more reinforcements over here if we need to. Because we're, we're now waiting on those Hussite they mercenaries to get over here, too. Ooh, yeah, I can almost get there immediately. Actually, I can, like, hit you this turn. Ah, uh, almost. I can almost hit this force. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to have you merge men together. And then I would say for right now, I think you're fine as you are. Although, actually, I can grab some men from here. Like, let's put these other horse archers in this army. Let's give them a little bit more. Uh, all of you. So you've got seven slots. Uh, so you can't put everybody in there, but you can try and maybe see. I don't think I can retrain these guys. But I'll, I'll send you guys over. I don't know. I wanted to use you, but I also wouldn't mind. Oh, actually, I should put this guy, send this guy up there because then you'll be able to merge. That's fine. Uh, we'll start sending you guys over this way. You'll slowly but surely make your way over to the city to help uh, garrison it. Marshall smaller, and then let's see. So we've got a little bit of money um, over here. Definitely get the crop rotation. That'll give us a little bit more growth and a bit more money as well. And that's perfect. I don't have a lot of other, of other cash. So that's about it. The general's bodyguard were offered here. I'm going to say no. You're way too old. Also, I almost have Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth uh, almost over here. She does have to go around. I'm no, don't. Don't life. do that. We know what's going to happen. Yes. Just go this way. You have to go this way. Then you can way. slowly but surely make your way over here. I still wonder what happened to the actual like proper... Because he should have unique uh, faction card yes. like this. But I don't see Eberhardt here. So I don't see him in any of these damn cities. I don't know where else they could possibly have him. Because, like, it looks like it maybe it's supposed to be one of these guys, but, like, he doesn't have a unique one. I'll, I'll like, try and see, because, like, that's the closest I've been able to get so far. Like, maybe... Let's see. Let's have you actually 30% chance to scout. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, well... Uh, this area's been able to grow a little bit, though. I like that. Ooh, salt mine! I just saw salt mine. Yes. We got salt mine there, and then also we had... So my roads are built up here. Okay, and then this area is growing again. I like to see that. Okay. Uh, I don't really have a lot of money left at this point in time, so I'm not going to really be able to do much besides get the couple watchtowers I want with my king. So, like, let's get one more right here. And then, like, right here... These areas just aren't lit up because of rebels, so we'll be dealing with them. This army... Where'd they go? Yeah, I want. let's, let's first fight this army first. So we're going to get rid of you guys. Kill this army first. Then we'll go siege that uh, fort for a turn. Once that area gives up, then we start our war with Crimea. Which, I wonder how well that's going to go. Like, the, these rebels that we've been fighting have honestly probably been a pretty good indicator of, like, how the wars might go, because these rebels actually have very similar army compositions to what I would expect Crimea to have, too. So I think that might not be that bad. So, again, we'll have the wagon fort up here. You guys right here. And here. And then let's make sure we grab all my other skirmishers. Horse archers, grab all of you. I have a lot of them in this army. I'll have you guys over on the left side. You'll be kind of trying to flank the enemy army. All my melee cap on the right side. Halberds over here and here. Also, you should be grouped up with these guys, even though you're crap. But just still be grouped up over there. And then I just need to move you two back this way. Start the battle. You need to back up a little bit. And then I can move you guys back up right here. And then same deal with you guys. And then just make sure you guys have skirmish mode off, guard mode on. Horse archers, I'll move up immediately to kind of go like right here. Honestly, I need some cannons in this army. Because this is such a really, uh, such an army focused on defense. Honestly, some cannons would be amazing as that would be a great way to take advantage of like, hey, it's hard to push through this. It really is. People want to, but they can't. Now with all the guns and... 20% uh, yeah, like of their army's dead before they even get to me. Like, look at that shit. Imagine if I had cannons in this army too. It'd be beautiful. Like, this army is getting slaughtered. Yeah, 40% is dead. Infantry is not even getting to us. 
Like, I can imagine that eventually there might be some, like, infantry units that are high enough in morale. They will actually survive getting into melee with me, but right now, there's nobody. I took 14 casualties for that. Yep, beautiful. My horse archers actually did the most damage. No, no, some of my hook gunners did, too. 113 kills on the hook gunners. Nice. So... That force has now been eliminated. Now what we'll do is we're going to focus our attention on the fort. We're going to go siege it, starve it out, and once it's dead, the war with Crimea begins. <sighs> By that time, because it's going to be three turns, it'll be like two to three turns um, of sieging. I think the Hussite mercenaries might be here in time for that. Because I do want to try and have it so that we can have at least two uh, wagon forts per army. I think that's like the perfect amount. Although at some point, I will want to try and make a doom stack of just wagon forts. It's going to be stupid, but oh, I want to do that so badly. So now we're going to be sieging this fort. I'm going to starve that out for the three turns that we need for that. And by the time that we are done, I will be ready to start my war with these guys over here. I do need to, there's probably like two little armies over here I need to deal with and finish off with my king. Um, we'll do that right before we're ready to push on into them. Also, this is a random thought that I just was thinking of while I was sitting here waiting for the turn to properly make Met's way over. How the fuck do you pronounce this? My brain is instinctually, for some stupid reason, wants to think it'd be like, without a little owl. <laughs> Horrendously. But uh, I'm just curious, like, how is that supposed to be pronounced? I don't want to. No. Where are the fuck are all these Tartar raids? Like, they keep just saying, hey, there's more Tartar raids, but I don't see any. Like, maybe it's this one over here. I think that's a really tiny force, but I don't know. I, I keep seeing those pop up. And then, yeah, there are two little armies around here, so let's have it so... I should kill you guys. So, this arm... Ooh, actually, uh, just all infantry. Oh, I'm gonna slaughter this thing. The last couple armies have all been infantry, I mean, uh, cav based. Oh boy, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Yeah, because we'll have it, so we'll set up our wagon forts here. Uh, get them to start unloading on the enemy. I honestly think that, like, the archers might do some damage. But other than that, I don't think the infantry is going to make it up to me. I, I don't think they will. Because, let's see, so we'll start to plummet. We'll have it so, kind of go up the hill a little bit. Kind of like, yeah, like right here is perfect. Get the wagon fort set up, and then we'll get the stakes over here. And then you guys also have stakes that you can deploy. Also, I should move, like, move everybody away from that one spot so I can properly put everything down. Because um, let's have it so you've got stakes. Oh, these stakes are fucked up. There we go. Yeah, it was because the units were in the way. There you go. So yeah, there, there. Oh, I have so many units with stakes now. I, I honestly love that. Let's see, like, right there. You guys don't. And I think that's it, actually. Yeah, it's just those ones. So then let's group up my crossbows. So all the crossbows together. And then I've got all my hand gunners. I just have the two? I just have the two for hand gunners. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Jones Bodyguard and Cav group up. And then infantry. I've got you guys. Yeah, just start the battle. So start deployment. Then I want to have it so that you will go here, you guys back up, I'll rush into your positions, you're good as you are. All of these guys honestly are fine, uh, just bring more of these crossbows uh, into this position, so like right there. Move forward, just make sure you guys turn off skirmish mode, and then I'll move my infantry like four of you over here, and then three of you over here. And then I don't even know if my like my cow will send you guys back to go try and hit their um, skirmishers. But for the most part, I don't think it's going to be that bad. Also, I just now realized how far away some of you guys were. That's fine. That's fine. Mongol assault infantry. It's still a good chunk of you guys around here. Still have a decent amount of crossbows and hand gunners in here. And they're actually pretty steady there. More steady than I'd like them to be. Okay, they are kind of pulling back. Yeah, Cav, you're trying to go back around. You need to try and have it so that you can get into position to try and hit their skirmishers. Some of their forces are already starting to break. 10% of their army's already dead. Not as many as I thought. Yeah, if you guys get over here. Uh, the spearmen, yeah, did get in melee. Oh. No! <laughs> you killed a wagon fort, you fuckers! You're supposed to be fleeing before the wagon fort and it's almighty power. You're not supposed to kill the damn thing. That is not what I wanted. One issue with me having my setup like this is it kind of is difficult to properly, I don't know, um, actually push back units and flank into these areas because I have the stakes. So 
have you guys get over here. Try and help out. Hopefully we recover that wagon for you. It was one of the first casualties. So I'm hoping we will. Yeah, the other one's still holding. Yeah, they're already starting to run. Start trying to run into some of those spearmen. No, they took another one out. Um, they're starting to break. Yeah, some of them are starting to break now. Yeah, because I'm trying to get you guys in here to help out against those units. Yeah, right there, right there. Yeah, I might recover one wagon fort. Maybe, I'm hoping both. I hope we get both those. Okay, hit these skirmishers there. Infantry. You guys, yeah, just try and surround over here. Leave my cap to flanking everybody else and trying to run those guys down for right now. The enemy so those guys are breaking, no breaking. Run down these guys. So if they have a strong enough uh, units, they can hold. Although technically I didn't have everybody properly in position. But there we go. I lost two of my wagon forts. Hopefully we recover those. Let's see. So, did we recover my wagon forts? I recovered one! Okay, we're burning down the countryside. How dare you take out one of my wagon forts. Didn't get both of them back. But that's fine. It's still an overpowered as hell unit. It's so useful. Even with one unit lost. And technically, I might still have enough models that it would actually consider that it'd give me all eight. It might not, though. But we'll have to see. So we did set this one wagon fort. But that's okay. I have more on the way anyways. But let's have it so we can have a watchtower up here. I see a couple more up here, and then I need to get rid of like this last little army. We've got a lot of rebels over here. Oh, the men's are doing really well. Oh, a lot of people came of age. Holy shit. Um, let's see. You're administratively minded. You're administratively minded. So this guy here. I actually want to have it so. You're gonna go watch over city. Uh, I'll send you yeah, you over here. So you go over there. We also had you are administratively minded as well. So I'll have you try and go go garrison and be a governor of a city as well. Um, I would say, yeah, you don't have one over here. So I'll send you over here. Then we also have last one. Um, and you are also administratively minded, but you're already in a city. So you can just stay there. Perfect. So that's got to be from the other family members. I am not opposed to that. Perfect. Mining network built up here. Nice. Uh, kind of losing population right now. Um, theater give it a little bit of a health bonus. I have a lot of stuff. Actually, just get the horse mill. Get the horse mill to get some more growth around there. Dip back information. Florence is at war with the Ottomans now and the Papal States. Guys, can you stop? I need you to stop being idiots. I need you to not be um, excommunicated so I can actually do my crusade, please. Alrighty, we're almost to Wittenberg now with my and princess. My oh, someone was just excommunicated again, weren't Traveling. they now at this point? Okay, well, we're almost here. Two to three more turns, and we'll I be able to try and steal more people. Can God damn it. Guys, I was just about to have you go into that city. Uh, Ragusa's now been excommunicated. Okay, I'm now going to have to go kill that army. That's great. It's a pretty crap army, but that's wonderful. Um, hey, at least I'm going to make some more money now. Uh, let's have my general keep making him his way up and around here. Build more watchtowers. Probably just seems like one more here, and then the entire area is lit up. I want to get rid of you at some point. And I also forgot about this guy. He's also supposed to be trying to get rid of uh, get some watchtowers up around here. And also, I see there's a rebel army here. Oh, that's a decent force. That one is too. Mm. I could try and go after these guys right now, but this army... Mm, you're not going to be a great general for this. Uh, let's pull you back. I'll need somebody else to deal with those forces. Uh, I do have some good money right now, though. So, you guys here keep getting the autonomy stuff. Cow, kids are already trying to get the salt mine. Um, you also get the better autonomy, and then we don't have enough money for anything else right now. Okay, good. They just gave up around that force, so we didn't have to actually even fight that force. Um, let's see, another mission to can spread the word of the Lord. Uh, so you guys right now, where are you at for percentage? How may I say? That is at 32. So yeah, I'll send you guys back over this way. Should I try to help out with that? Because honestly, those missions have been one of the main ways I've been able to stay afloat right now. So keep trying to make your way over there. Tannery upgrade. Pilsno has been able to upgrade. Nice. Keep that up. To 
magic information. And we still haven't been able to do a crusade yet, have we? Nope, it's just all you guys, again. <laughs> I want Crimea. <sighs> That's fine. Okay. Also, I did just realize the main reason why that army rebelled is uh, my authority is shit on my king. My king has absolutely no authority, which is not great whatsoever. But uh, that's that's fine. We can we can deal with that. Um, so trying to have you make your way back down this way. Uh, I can also try and have this unit try and slowly actually catch up to you now, so you have more infantry for yourself. Uh, I'm really hoping that because my authority is low, please do not have you guys rebel. <laughs> if you guys rebel, that's gonna be a huge problem. Although honestly, part of me actually, you know what? Let's do this. I am going to try and fight here, and don't think we'll be able to get a man of yellow from this, but it is worth a shot trying to fight an army around here to try and see if we can get a man of yellow. If we can get one, perfect. I'll be able to then try and have it so this army is not going to just immediately withdraw and become mercenaries again after I paid the money, so it would be a literal scam if that happened. But uh, we'll be able to see how to wagon forts do against an army because I feel like that's got to be really nice. I have to be very much on the defensive at all times with uh, wagon forts, and especially with two of them. But it's worth a shot. Oh, you guys all have stakes. I love it. So you guys go there and then you guys right there and then infantry. I'll group you guys up and we wait for them to advance onto us. So start the battle and then I do also have my other reinforcements which I don't technically think I need but maybe we will. I think you guys advancing on us, we should be fine with just what we have here. Because I've got the two wagon forwards. I have a lot of cav, actually, in the reinforcing army here. So, yeah, you guys... Oh, are they going to go for my allies? Looks like they are, so let's have you guys kind of, like, slowly make your way over here towards us. Or actually kind of make it so they have to come to towards us. Like, they, they are making their way through. I know they're fighting us. And yeah, they're trying to. Number wise, third of their army is already dead. Have is yeah breaking breaking. Technically, you're the unit I need to get the most kills on to make sure we actually get a man of the hour though. Yeah, let's have you go for those archers. Cav, all of you guys rush on over here. Yeah, thank you for just ignoring my guys as they slowly walk on up towards you. Uh, because you guys can do a lot of damage if you try and shoot me, but they're not at the moment. Cav is almost here too. As soon as my cav gets over here, they're probably gonna break because this is just a singular archer. Come on, get on in there, guys. Yeah, start trying to unload them to them. Our also, we're still fighting the battle. Hmm. Oh, the cab came like back. This, oh, that's why. Yeah, I thought this cab was fully broken. The that's a good charge. No yeah, hold up here. He's gonna come back again. Yeah, he's gonna come back again. This time, though, yeah, he's being shot at. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be enough to give us a man of the hour, but hey, it was a little shot. We'll at least try this, then we'll keep sending these armies forward. Because I really don't want these things to become rebel. I don't want to fight rebel uh, wagon forts, please. I, I want my wagon forts to be working with me, please. So that way I can use them against my enemies. Because they are, like, we've seen just how much of a beating they can take. They can take a lot of damage before they actually properly die. And so, let's see. Is that going to get me man of the hour? Probably not. No. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, that's okay. Keep making my way over here, and hopefully you just don't rebel. Okay, those guys still haven't rebelled just yet. Good. Uh, this army is actually pretty close to me. I can't get to the. Oh no, I can. I can barely get to you right now. So let's go here. Because I want to take this army out. It's gonna run, and now I don't have any movement. Okay. Uh, this force, however, though, uh, now that we are done with that fort, I actually should make sure I move you guys over this way, and we're gonna start moving into position to start focusing on the forces of Crimea. So as soon as you're in position, we'll start that war. Uh, my... Where'd they go? Here they are. So yeah, you guys need to keep making your way over towards us. Uh, try and make your way over here specifically, actually. And then I'll have it so we'll be joining in the other wagon forts into your force. I'm trying to port. We're doing a little bit better. Another city is ready to grow here. Beautiful. And the extraction port. Okay, so... Nothing I want to grab there. Nothing I want to grab there right now. Um, ooh, actually. How much is that going to give us? Corruption. Uh, it's not really worth it right now. You know, we need to get more reduced law bonus. We need some more law. Um, I don't have anything to get law there right now, but we can at least get the chapel, and that will at least help with conversion of this area. I do love the thought. Ooh, um... This is an Italian state. Republic. 
I might, maybe I can steal you? I just want to steal somebody. Um, what I was trying to say is I do love the idea and the imagery of the fact that, like, essentially what I'm doing with these wagon forts is they're like modern tanks almost, or like the version of tanks that we have in here, essentially. Because they just do so much damage. Like, hey, let's push on in here, kill this army off. It's just, I think it's just a, such a difficult thing to kill, and it has the nice shock and awe value, too, against the enemy army. But uh, this rebel army should be the last one I know of in this region. Um, that we have to deal with. Then we can just keep making my way directly into the Crimean territories. I'm debating if I want to have it so that we push through their troops or we just focus on the cities. Because we can just turn them all rebel first. Because like if I get to siege any settlement and I have wait until they sally out against me, that's pretty easy for me to be able to easily win those fights. Um, let's get the wagon forts up here. And then let's put stakes right there. And then right out there. Also, I do need to have it so everybody else needs to move away from where they're currently standing. And then I'll see I can get, like, what, one more stake I wanted, like, right there. Then get all of my other crossbows a bit closer. Oh, and these two as well. Get those guys there. General, Cav, kind of chill over here. And then all of my infantry in position as well. Let's see, so let's have like four of you over here, and the other four on the other side. Start the battle, and we'll adjust. So right there, and then uh, you are one of my crossbows. You want to back up. We need one of my gunners to go there instead. It's like right there, and then you guys, um, you're already in front, so you're fine as you are. My other crossbows can just kind of adjust where they are right now to be a little bit closer behind these guys to provide support. It's like right there. And then make sure you guys turn skirmish boat off, guard boat on, and now we wait for the enemy army. I do just gotta love the amount of damage my guys can do here. So they're doing a pretty good amount, 17% already dead. Cav trying to get you guys to the back here to hit the skirmisher cav. Some of you just barely got to ready. my wagon force, but you're breaking now. 20% already dead. These the lancers hour. are trying to fight my infantry, but you guys should be able to hold them back pretty nicely as we do have a lot of anti-cav units for infantry right now. So you're good there. And then they are actually letting me fight them in melee with their skirmisher cap. I'm okay with this. Because I'll absolutely slaughter you guys. The enemy are badly yeah, if their army's they dead. See, so you're still holding, holding, holding. Which is, I do need more cab in this army, honestly, though. Like, that's the one thing that I'm kind of sad about is uh, my other force has so many cab units. No infantry. This one's actually a pretty good balance, I would say, because of between what I have. I just need a few more cab units. There we go. So, 100 energy casualties for our side. Not bad. Not bad at all. That is now should be the last of the rebel armies around here. That's my hope, at least. Um, now let's start making our way into Crimea. I forgot how we would take us a little bit less time to do this. But now here we go. We're going to be able to at least start pushing into the cities. I could get a fleet and try and drop some men off. Or, or we can just push straight into them. I'm not opposed to trying to push straight into them. I, I do know, though, they don't have many cities. They really don't. They've got, like, what, three? Because I know of one right here. They have... Where's the other ones? Because I know... They've got that one. Oh, do they actually push out? Oh, shit. They control all of this now. Interesting. So they've got three cities down here, at least. This one. And actually, I think that's just one region. Yeah, I think this city here is for this entire area. Unless they have, like, maybe one, like, up here. But it's hard to tell. I think it's just one region. So... An honor to serve, my oh, I can just start sieging that city right now. I will make them fear you. Oh, yeah. I would, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna start sieging. I'm just gonna start sieging you guys. And then I'm gonna have it so we'll do. Oh, yeah, you can get just a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah, just go stand right there. Um, there are some mercenaries. There is a mercenary boat, though. Let's do this. Let's grab the mercenary boat. And I'm gonna draw, grab you. And I'm just gonna have you move past. So you are gonna start trying to make your way down. Um, I don't know which city specifically, but I'm gonna have you start making your way down that way. Um, Princess of what? Eh? Oh. I am sure I will Nobody. have their full attention. <sighs> yeah, I just want her to marry yes. somebody. Somebody important. 
Uh, failure or died of old age? Uh, no! That's that's not fun. Um, horse mill, we just got that over here. Let's see, Krakow, Watermill. I think you guys are fine for your growth for right now. Um, also, I know this was asked, um, because it was these titles, and whether or not these give a decent bonus. I don't know, actually. Um, but it was the idea about trying to require the large... Yeah, spend one turn in Krakow, require a large feudal estate. I should, I'm going to try and get that, because we. what do we have right now? Do we have that over here? We have just the Lord's Hall. Um, so that's the feudal. Is that part of the feudal economy? Um, I'm assuming it means just the Lord's Hall, technically, is the one that's needing. Because I'm, I'm wanting to try and get that. Oh, there's mercenaries here, too. Ooh, what can I get for mercenaries? German knights for mercenaries. Yeah, okay. Nothing crazy in comparison to what we can get access to, but... I think maybe. I They are pretty happy around here. Does provide income. Um, I'm going to try and grab that so that we can actually eventually try and get those titles. Because I probably should actually give out the King of Poland title to my forces. I probably should. Uh, not the worst idea. But now we have started our war with the Crimean Khanate. And then, uh, is there anything else I can build right now? Because I've got a little bit more money. Oh, there were some roads I want to get somewhere. Ooh, there's a mine here. Eh, that's a pretty crap mine, though. Nothing there. You guys need more population. Yeah, we can get the horse mill around here. That's at least something. Another Tartar raid. God damn it. Um, where are they? Uh, more mercenaries. I don't have the money right now, though, so I actually had to say no. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So now it's just going to spawn them instead. Oh, God, that's huge. God damn it. I just don't have the money to deal with that. Shit. Traitors? Yep, that's just referring to... Yep. Uh, let's see. Do any of you guys have stakes? Themselves. No. No. Are there mercenaries around here? Honor to serve, my lord. There are. Exactly. Oh, no, those guys don't have. I thought they had stakes on those units. Uh, they don't. You guys do, though. My lord. So, you guys, try to make your way up here uh, as reinforcements, because I'm going to need that, as this is not what I was hoping for. Not exactly what I need right now while I just started a war with the uh, Crimeans, because for right now, I'm going to be sieging here. This is their current faction heir. I'm going to ignore you. Um, and have it so that this guy Let's pick up my bow. And I can drop off right here. There we go. So we'll go down for this city. Yeah, because they actually have a lot more land around here than I thought they did. Yeah, no, so you push on down there. Um, they're not advancing on me just right now, which I'm okay with. If they're going to let me siege this area, I will gladly take that opportunity to do so. Also, I do now finally have a chance to marry around here. I could... Go for this guy. 50% chance. He's 15. He's pretty young. William von Eberstein. Not a bad general. Do I want to go for him? Or do I want to go for something over here? Possibly, if there's anything. No, nothing there. So I think next turn, I will try and see if I can get this guy. As that's the only one that I know of that is currently not married. Constantinople has fallen. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh... That's not what we wanted. We want you guys to hold out for longer. Yep, it is now under the forced control of the Ottomans. Hmm. They're still alive, right? No, no, no su suggestion that they're dead yet. That's good. That's good. Ah, oh, still not what we want to hear. Okay. Well, that's that's sad, but okay. They're still holding together. But yeah, for now, bring these guys over here. And technically, I may not need to keep all of you guys around here. But at least I'm going to keep you for sure. I'm going to leave like these three. So the, the cab units at least. Uh, you guys get out of here and keep following around. I'll deal with these guys later. But for right now, this at least makes it so that they attack this area. I will be safer. I will be able to do a bit more to defend myself. Um, back over, yeah, so like, yeah. you guys are able to group up around over here. Let's have you group up there, and then I'll have these cab oh, units join on in as well. And once you're there, oh, hello. 
Oh, hello. I am expecting you guys to attack me this turn end. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. So you guys need to move out of my way. There's not much here. These guys are really bad. Oh, actually, maybe. do I even need to attack that? No, not really. I can just walk past you guys. Eh, just fuck you. And this one tiny little fleet is gonna do amazing things over here. So let's have you start sieging this area. That's actually their faction leader. Perfect. So, you start sieging that area, and then I'm fully expecting you guys to attack me this turn end. Ooh. Genoa wants an alliance. You are allied at the Roman Empire. You're at war with the Crimean Khanate. And the Ottomans. I see no reason why not to. I will gladly accept that. Both wise and then, and uh, let me try and see if I can get military you. access from you guys as we well. Listen, we no, not at the moment. That was worth a shot, this seeing as how I just know I don't want to piss off my allies while I'm trying to walk through your guys' lands. But hey, th this works out really well for us, because I didn't, uh, before I was wondering, like, what was going to do with Crimea, because I thought you guys were still around here. But no, they lost their stuff on Crimea. So now I get to fully control the Crimean Peninsula myself. And hopefully it makes me some good money. I'm hoping it does. And uh, they're actually stronger na than uh, Kiev now that I realize. Because they because they took that land, that makes them far stronger than them, actually. Not by much, but a little bit stronger. So we'll be focusing on Crimea still here. They didn't. They seriously not attack me during that turn end? Wow. I'm pleasantly surprised by that, actually. I was fully expecting you guys to attack me. Again, is Elizabeth No. Uh, Master Merchant's Guild. Hell yeah. Um, let's go back over here. And I should check on uh, Elizabeth And let's try and see. Can he? Oh, they moved! <laughs> they moved! Where'd the shit's all go? Oh my god, I missed the opportunity now. Uh. No, that's Rebel. Fuck! <laughs> and they're gone. Sabotage. That's not what I want. It hits a building that makes me money, so please don't destroy that. As especially with me right now, sitting in, um. Yeah, because we're now allied. Yeah, especially with me sieging this area for right now, this is not the best for us. Uh, I can probably honestly assault this right now. Yeah. Ah, oh, you made me take da some damage on the... That's fine. It's one casualty on the wagon fort. That's okay. It just means, like, hey, now I get to immediately take this area. Push on in there. This area's pretty pissed off. Lower the taxes there. And then I need to convert this area primarily, I'm assuming. So, um, these guys... 44. So next turn. Next turn, I can move you out of here, and then I'll start sending you over to the east to try and help convert that area. Um, I'll try and get some priests over here for right now to send over that way. My cav is... How many turns away? Yes. Two turns. Okay. So, two turns. I'm going to probably want to try and move you guys over as reinforcements, because if they attack me, I would like to have some reinforcements. Actually, can you merge men together? You can merge a little bit, but not enough, because I almost want to, like, send those these two other wagon forts over into that army. My lord. If I send you over here, I can put that army yes, onto the boat Lord. at least. Because I feel like they're going to attack. Do I have enough room for this? I do. Oh, the wagon forts would not be able to move, though. An honor to serve. So if I was going to do this... Because I'm expected to be attacked this turn. Go right here. As um, let's take serve. out you yes. and you My out, of the, out of the and army. March. Right there. Um, there are some mercenaries, but not mercenaries I want to grab. Grab the wagon forts, put them into my king's army. <laughs> so I have three of those damn things. And then uh, put the rest of you guys just right here. That way, at least I have some reinforcements as long as they attack. I should get those guys. Yeah, I should get those guys to reinforce me. The Crimeans have seriously just been ignoring me. What the hell? <laughs> like, I'm not expecting that. Usually, like. What? You have all this! Attack me! <laughs> Why won't you attack me? Like, I'm expecting to be attacked there for a while now, and just not. Like, it works, I guess, but, like, also, game. Like, I want that fight. Um, now, I need to move my priests over here. So, yeah, you guys need to try and make your way down over this way. Because that area really does need to be converted. It's pretty upset because of that. So, keep making your way over here. There, there, and there. And I have the other guys I just recruited, so I'll send them over this way as well. So I have you, and then I also have uh, another one from over here as well. So make your way over there. In the meantime, uh, this area is pretty safe. We just need to keep trying to get up the uh, autonomy, build that up there, and then eventually we'll try and um, reach, uh, see what we can do to try and um, lead this area 
it's pretty upset for right now. I know it's cult culture is a huge part of that too. Um, mercenaries, I might actually want to grab some around here. Just to make sure we have some more, like, these uh, spearmen will not be bad. Um, I think I'm going to grab the slot and handgunner. Yeah, let's grab that, because I think I was down two units. So yeah. grab those, that way we have a full stack army once again. And then, fair and rule, construction port, there we go. That's been repaired over there. Um, yeah, you've only built the first one now. Krakow. Oh, what do I want you guys to get? I have enough money, I think there was one of my cities I can get roads. So let me try and see what was that. Oh, it was right here, so grab roads. Grab roads right there. That's not a ton of money, but it's at least something. Grab that. And it'll keep um, building off everything else we have there. That's good, good, good. Still no attack. Like, what the fuck? Okay, I guess I'm just not gonna be attacked. Build a small church in... Yeah, I'm gladly gonna be doing that. I was already trying to convert this area as much as possible. So let's get a small chapel around here and keep building you guys up because at the moment right now, culture, you guys are at 16%. That's pretty low. It's gonna take a while to convert you guys. Um, I honestly, like, I really want to be able to try and have it so that, like, oh, hello. I don't like that you're walking through my lands. I know I need, I need at some point to be able to deal with these raids. I need to send somebody back to deal with them, but at the moment we're focusing so much our attention on Crimea. Oh, you guys have grown. Um, no, I want to grab right there right now. Is there any area that doesn't have the roads built up? Like, you could get some roads. You could get some roads as well. You could too, but I just don't have money for that. Okay, I think I'm going to try one more turn end, probably before we're done for today. I at least want to try and see, though. I'm still trying to find those generals. Like, let's see, can you is he in here? Yes. He is! Come on! I am sure. Yeah! <laughs> let's see, so... I did steal somebody. So this man's from Swabia, bonus 10% tax, and discount on uh, construction. Nice, military minded. Wife is very fertile. Wife is admirable. I love it. So I'll be having you be making your way over as you were the first successful person we've seduced into my kingdom. So I'll gladly send you back over to my kingdom next turn. I think the Crimeans are complete cowards. They do not want to fight me. That's probably for the best, Whoa. honestly, for their own yes. safety. But also, like, why won't you fight me? So let's, I now have my reinforcing cab here. Like, you guys are ready. You're being able to group on up with us. And at this point in time, again, we're just trying to have you guys be ready to be able to leave here at some point. So we're trying to convert this the best we can. Uh, I'm still waiting on my priest to get over here. God's Take, sake. like, what? One, two, three, four, five, like, six turns for some of you to get here? Like, honestly, if I can, I would like to probably be able to try and just, like, send over you guys via boat. But I'm also expecting that my boat might just be sunk. So don't expect much from that. Um, I will say, though, before I forget, I'm just going to make sure that I get more roads. Get more roads, and I think we'll be done for today. As, uh, right now, we have started our war with Crimea. I, it's, it's gotta be this next turn. This next turn end is when you guys will be actually now finally... You know, let's, let's just check that and see if this is going to be... Because if you guys don't attack me during this, like, they just give up the damn city and let their current faction leader die. So, we'll do this one final turn end. To try and see... Oh, I forgot to move that general. That's eh, fine. He's... He'll be fine. He shouldn't be attacked randomly. While he's over in uh, the lands of uh, Rutenberg. That's my hope. He's seriously just going to let me see you. No, they actually are going to sell you out. Okay. We'll, we'll deal with this in the next video, I would say. Because, like, this is sad. <laughs> that took them this long to do this. So... I'm only done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts have on in general? I was Rampan. I'll see you guys next time. That's my hope. You guys seriously just gonna let me see you? No, they actually are.